Hello, gamers. How we doing? I hope that you're all having a really wonderful day. This song kind of bangs. I've never heard it before. It's a little saucy. Love it. Sitting at work watching Suits. Um, Joan better finish her arc for the love of Christ. Drew, confused by the fact that I'm still in first place in the bracket. Yeah, Apex, me too. What the hell are you doing? How did you figure this out? Um, hello. I got a new Polaroid camera. Ooh, lovely. That'll be fun. Um, I do not know. I have not watched the show. Are you just picking randomly? If I get beat by somebody that just is picking randomly, I'm going to be so mad. Hi, Atlas. Hello. I'm watching the show, rating Faithless and Teresa in the middle. I guess. I mean, if you make the safe calls, maybe Apex is just camping the, uh, the movie night chat and seeing what we're all saying without having to watch it. Sitting at fifth and I'm just <laughs> winging it. <laughs> Fuck it. I mean, you know, like a year of VIP. Why not? Why not give it a shot? I'm going on vibes and that's it. Who are you getting the best vibes from? Is that oh. a subscription? Lofty. Here's some cake. Hi. Just see kidding. you in four months. How you doing? Returning to my ex disc. That's always a game I've wanted to try because I really like the way the combat is. Uh, there was a game that I played once that the combat was like that. It was a game that came out and it flopped and you played as like a pig and a duck and it was like XCOM type combat. And I really liked it in co in co in concept, but it didn't. What game was that? Were you able to get the console code? Yes, I was. Um, I was able to get the console code, which is awesome. I wish I could take the Steam code back, and give it to you guys, but I can't. Um, should I even ask what the fruit game is? How do we feel about the fruit game? Yeah, Mutant Year Zero. I really hoped it was going to be good, but it wasn't. It ripped. Isn't it, like, addicting to watch? I don't understand. Their next game was good. Was it? What was that called? Fruit Game is an Addiction. I know Hannah has just been sucked in and spit out. Not spit is out yet. subscription? Here's some cake. Just kidding. Leah, Lucky thank you for the 33 months at tier 3. Thank you. Leah, are you doing TwitchCon? Who's doing TwitchCon? Type 1. I'm going to ask this a million times, but I'm just curious. Who's doing it? I'm going to try to memorize these names, but yeah. Oh, Jake, you're going? Did I know that? No Space Kid this year. Space Kid, you'll have to send your... Uh, your uh, what was it? The SP with somebody... Nice, Jake. Although I just got a lamplighter league. What is that? I want ice cream, but I have to wait until my nephew goes to bed. No. Across the country. Ah. Charlie's going. Nice. It One really cool thing about TwitchCon is just putting faces to names. You know what I mean? Like, it just... It's just, like, so nice to just be able to, like, have a person behind the chat names in a way you know what i mean like it just is it's nice for because it's like you guys sit and you watch us what did i say one for charlie are you going to twitchcon okay fuck off <laughs> you mean you guys aren't all anime avatars irl i'm a really convincing vtuber i'll drop off my sp in a random corner of la for you to sign perfect yeah it'll be like uh geocaching sky are you going to twitchcon Last year, Sky was working the floor. He was, uh, he had like a Polaroid with like a little album and was taking pictures of people and having them like sign it and just getting, literally getting the most out of the experience. I see numbers who I join. Okay, that's fair. I'll twitch to that is too. I think that you guys have brains and then I say type one in chat and all of a sudden you don't and it's, you just simply sheep. I'm gonna ask Sam to sign my ass. I'll do it. Yeah, I would understand. No, I'll do it. That's fair. I should have been on the other side of the country to me and I had PTO. I understand why they don't do it in the middle of the country, but it would be cool. Um, I hate this song. I sorry, I don't like it at all. Um Why are we wanting? I don't know, because it's fun. It's everybody can do it. You can all want if you want to. I support what you do and nod. Okay, here's the agenda today. 
I'm going to do a thing that a lot of you really care about and a lot of you don't care about is I'm going to review the Bachelor episode. I'm just going to give the TLDR. I'm not going to do my bracket live because I already did it and I frankly don't really think that's as interesting for most of you. But I took notes. I took detailed notes and I'm going to spill the tea. Fuck Kathy. Wait till you guys hear about Kathy. She's on one. And then we have... The sponsored game, which I was able to get, shout out to We Hype, by the way. That's who um, I, if you're a streamer, sign up for We Hype. They, you know, they give out sponsors and stuff. But I, they gave me a Steam code for the game, and I tried to run the game. I don't want to talk shit about the game because I don't know if it's them or me. But I have heard that there's some issues with the PC version being a little framey. For a lot of people and it was definitely for me and i wasn't even live i just had obs open so i messaged them and i was like hey do you have a console code for me i cannot run it on steam i really want to stream it i didn't even give me the option and so they messaged me back the next day and yeah um apparently you or a mod has to approve something for follow age the stream elements just decides things okay i'll do it after stream the cutscene of valid gameplay seems decent from non-stream. My cutscene was also bad when I did offline, like the first cutscene. So I have it on my PlayStation 5. I have the PlayStation set up. So we will do F Fallen, uh, Lords of the Fallen, which looks really good. And I've heard good things about it. I haven't really heard too many people that have played it. I've heard good things about it. And then if you guys want, we could play some more fruit game. Because we still have to get 3,001 for no particular reason. So, yeah. Um, uh, what's up, Zan? How's it going? Fruit game, let's go. Yeah, I know. I don't know why it's so addicting to watch, but I love watching it. So, And I love playing it, so might as well. I'm totally fine not playing it, though. Yeah. <laughs> This is too confusing for me to deal with. Wait, what's happening? I am told that standard protocol is for you to bob Everybody? your head to this catchy tune now. Enjoy. I love that the alert waited until the alert was up to throw them in chat. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's see who got one. Go, go, ah. Uh. Oh, cheese, what's up? Oh, June's got a sub. Let's go. Hello, cheese. You guys are here just in time for this. Billy got one. Let's go. Dun, 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 dun. Shouldn't and farting for another souls like. Huge. What's up with the raid train today? Um, Cyril, thank you for the 10 gifties. Here's two raid alerts in a row for both of the raids. Hello, Cheese. How was stream? What'd you do? And Vircha, what's up? Thank you so much for the, uh, the raid as well. It's a party. You guys... You guys decided together that you were bringing all the people here. Um, yeah. Lords of the Fallen today. Looks good. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna do that again. We're gonna run it back. What's Barry doing? I don't know. Whatever he's doing. Love the raid sound. I don't love it because it's a little bit much, but... I'm gonna change it, I think. I like the visual of the raid. Um, but we'll see. Tyrell, thank you for the 10 gifties. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank I you appreciate for the it. Gifted subscriptions. What I the heck? Standard protocol is for you to bob your head to this catchy. What are you guys doing? Enjoy. What had happened? Hi, evils. What the fuck? What's with the ten, ten gifty train? Oh, when you said what is Barry doing? Do you mean this version of Barry? Question, when you guys bob your head at home, which I know you do. When you guys bob your head at home, do you do the me version where you just bob your head or do you do berries? Like the random. Which one do you do? I couldn't find people to room with and didn't want to walk around Vegas alone like San Diego, but I'll be watching from my room and excited to see all the videos people post. I'm going to take my IRL stream stuff um, and try to do maybe some sort of IRL stream there. Um, I probably won't IRL stream the meetup. 
in my perfect world i would but i recognize that a lot of people that are going to it don't want to face reveal to everybody on stream they just kind of want to come and be part of the community and say hi to me and the boys so i'm not gonna irl stream it um but you know i uh i i that would be uh that would be great um it's different every time i think oh okay cool Alex, thank you for the 10 gifties, you fucking mad lad. I think it sounds really fun, so I'm excited to hear about it. It's going to be really fun. I'm getting really antsy. I think next week... I know I'm excited about a trip when I start to write out a list of things I have to do. And right now, my TwitchCon list of to-do... Are we winning here? We're going to be. Is I want to I wanna fix this up. I haven't bleached it for a while and I kind of want to redo my bangs. I don't know. Kind of figure I'll do it. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I redo my hair or do, is this kind of a vibe to have? It's kind of just turning into like a normal balayage. Am I drinking? What am I drinking right now? Red Bull. You guys think I should leave it or bring it back up and make it more blonde up at the front? Um, It looks good. It looks a little bit more like natural i guess in a way but i don't know i don't know what to do with it um but i'm gonna bleach it in some capacity at least i'll tone it at the very least um i'm gonna laminate my eyebrows has anybody ever laminated your eyebrows before the green screen window in the background is insanely cool thank you i appreciate it I ordered, um, I actually got them today. I got a bunch of stuff today. We can open Amazon packages. Um, this light bar that you can't see very well. Um, these are what I used to light the green screen up when it was in my last house. And one of them is broken. So I ordered two more. Um, so I have to set them up on each side because it kind of helps like this part right here that's kind of not super clean it's because there's a shadow in there that the light can't get into but when i have two of these on either side it helps um uh i haven't laminated them but i have used got to be hair gel for the same effect i have like eyebrow stuff which is basically that i should just use that but what what eyebrow lamination is is basically you take like perm solution and you put it in your eyebrows because most people's eyebrows like they here i'll show you a befores and afters before and after eyebrow lamination i've never gone and done it professionally but i've done it myself you can get kits on amazon and if you follow the directions you can actually do a pretty good job um so this is what eyebrow lamination does um here's a good photo It's really great. This person, I think, um, maybe had a little bit of tattooing done also. But like, um, wig bonding glue for their fake eyelashes, kind of. It's like, you know how most people's eyebrows look like this and they kind of grow like sideways, but then they grow in different directions and whatever. Like, you basically use like, um, you, you get like perm solution and you perm all your eyebrow hairs to grow like up rather than like sideways and in different directions and so it kind of makes them look just like a little bit neater yeah so my eyebrow so my eyebrow hairs are really long like my eyebrows are not thick but my eyebrow hairs are really long and so it's really hard oh here's a good picture actually this is a good picture this is kind of what i like for eyebrows like my eyebrows do this they kind of just grow sideways and then you get these like kind of like i don't even know what to call them it's like bumps you know where the hair pattern just changes and then when you laminate them they all will grow the same direction and they just look cleaner they just look cleaner and so i've done it myself twice and i've done a pretty good job both times and it makes it really really easy to do your eyebrows after so i'm gonna try to do that again and hope i don't fuck it up we'll see um, I'm scared to get my eyebrows done. I want to go to someone because I don't know what to say. I think uh, that's hard because eyebrows can get fucked up pretty easily. Um, I would just go to somebody that is decent and just say you want them to be really natural and cleaned up. Like, don't say you want them shaped. Unless you want them shaped, but... 
never fuck with my eyebrows they're they're great already i um used to uh tweeze mine when i was in high school and so now they're just not quite the same shave them off who needs eyebrows i've thought about doing this i think alexa did this for a while and it looked pretty good um they're called like fox eyebrows or something it's like you basically kind of like you you end them a little bit shorter than you would um so that they don't this is a not good picture but like you you kind of get rid of this like little tail that goes down and it makes your eyebrows like a little bit more straight these are not really very good photos at all it's kind of like this i think this is kind of what I'm imagining. Those are great eyebrows. I have an obsession with eyebrows because I've always had, always had an issue with mine. So whenever I see like like this, if my eyebrow, eyebrows look like this, I'd be so powerful. Nothing, I would be unstoppable. Um, I tweeze mine to hell and, and soup. Hold on, I have to look at it. Mod checked them earlier when I sent her one of the worst photos. <laughs> I don't have any photos on hand, but definitely all the pictures of me in high school, I had thin eyebrows. It gets rid of the arch so you can shape it however. Yeah. I used just for men and got to be hair gel. I, that's, you're the second person that said that in chat. So maybe I need to do that. Um, I, Doug bought a big bottle of it when he did Guy Fieri the other day. So maybe I should try to get that back from him and say, listen, bud, I know that you're never going to use this. So... I'm going to need this back. I need, I, I need this for my eyebrows for the next six years. I saw once a video. I went through a Emma Chamberlain phase. I haven't really watched her anymore. because She doesn't really make YouTube content anymore. Like ever. I don't, I know she's really into like fashion and stuff, but she puts Carmex on her eyebrows. Cause I think it gives them enough structure, but not a whole lot. She must have really fine eyebrow hair. And it's cheap. Yeah, I have a thing that's like specifically for eyebrows. And it's pretty good. I like that it has like the mascara brush on it. But if I move my eyebrows after I've set them, they get really crunchy. Elmer's glue stick for your eyebrows. Yeah, true. And then just draw them back on. Should I use beard balm on my eyebrows? Is that what we're learning? I think you could. I don't see why not. I think you can use whatever you want on your eyebrows. I don't do much for mine. I shape of myself and stuff. I have a constant battle with my eyebrows and I'm really lucky that my job is on camera because you can kind of be a little bit less particular about your makeup when you're on camera because it's going to look a little bit, it's just going to be a little, you know, like you get the lighting the way you want it and stuff. Doing makeup to go out in, in person during the day is like one of my worst fears. Not because I like have any like problems or anything, but you can just see all of the, the fuck ups. Some queens use pro sed to cover their brows. What is that? Um, they're decent. They get up a little bit, like fill them in. Starting to get a little rough, but I got a whole kit too to like. It's basically like a straight razor, so I could like shape the top here. I don't know. If you're on an HD close-up camera, uh, the makeup equation changes a little bit. Yeah, there's certain things that you notice and certain things you don't. By the way, speaking of noticing, my toe is like completely better today. I didn't go to boxing today. Um, my toe is like completely fine. It was just, it must, it must have just been like, you know, when you sleep wrong and you get up on the wrong side of the bed and then your neck just hurts and then it goes away maybe after like 24 hours. That's kind of how I feel. Yeah. Shaving off the tail of your eyebrows so it's only one line instead of two. Sylvan, I think that you could rock that. Those kinds of eyebrows. The Is it called the fox eyebrow? Is that what it's called? I kind of feel like you could rock that. Didn't you say you fell down the stairs prior? I did fall down the stairs, yes. Holding a big sheet of glass. It was a big day for me. The glass didn't break. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. But, yeah. I want your guys' opinion on this. I found this TikTok... Do you guys know what girl math is? Because I found this and dance audition ah, in town. I've I, ever since I said that I wanted to be Pearl for Halloween, I've been getting Pearl TikToks. 
Okay, I'm going to show you guys this TikTok, and I want you guys to tell me if you agree with this or disagree with this. If I pay for something in cash, it's free. Okay? If I... If you pay for something in cash, it's free. Which I... I say yes, especially since I used to work in a barbershop and I would get tips. So basically in my head, everything that I bought with my tips was free. Order something using the Starbucks app and I have money preloaded to the app and then I go order the drink. It's free. Yeah. That I also, I use the Starbucks app, which if you get Starbucks a lot, please use the app. You get points and then you get free shit. But if I reload my Starbucks app with like a hundred bucks, that money now, <laughs> that money now is not money that I've spent. It's free because it's in the Starbucks app. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's free. Got it. It's a free drink. Free drink. If I buy something at a store and I return it. So like the other week I bought a jacket from Zara. You know, I have to return it tomorrow. When I return that, I'm actually making money. Yes. So this is a big one. <laughs> Funny freeze frame. This is a big one. If you return something to a store, the money that you get back is free money and you can spend it on whatever you want. You don't have to put it back in your bank account. Yeah. These are like, this is like a voice filter that people put on TikToks and it makes everything funnier. I don't know. Um, you can't say it's not true. It is true. It's true. This is not true, but it is kind of true. Yes. Yeah, you have already spent the money, therefore it doesn't exist. And if you get it back, it's you're making a profit and it's free money. None of this is correct. John, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> it's like he ate ice cream too fast. <laughs> half of you are concerned about the girl math, the other half are concerned about this guy. The charge is already accounted for, so my budget is exchanged. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Similarly, if I do that return and the store gives me store credit. Yeah. It's just like free shopping. Yes. When I go back. <laughs> I'm totally lost here. Okay. Everything's free except for you get money back. Got it. If I go out for dinner with my friends or they come over for dinner and we order in and I'm the one who pays for it. And then everyone sends me and transfer for their, their portion afterwards. Let me guess. You make money. I actually profited. I profited. <laughs> so that's girl math. That's girl math. Yes. So it's you, you get an income. You make a profit. That one is a little bit less for me. But I do, I do get it. Also, um, another thing is if I'm really... T <laughs> if I'm really, really tired... If I'm really tired and uh, I don't feel good, then whatever I buy that day is free. <laughs> like if I just, if I if I have cramps or if there's something definitively wrong with me, then then whatever I buy that day is free. <laughs> a girl has ever taken accounting on it. Yeah, it's not free. It's a needed medical expense. Yes, I can write it off. Mm-hmm. If I'm sick, I get a thing. Yeah. Or if I did something that I'm really proud of myself for. So like, uh, let's see what happened the other day. Um, oh, I, the day that I changed my, my last name, everything was free. I got myself dinner, um, and everything that I got the rest of that day was free. Uh huh. Yeah. Girl math is when you return a Steam game and you get, yes, yes. If I buy a game on Steam and then... I return that game, then any game I buy with that money back is free. Yeah. I should tweet that. My version of girl math. Hold on. Do you think that this would be a funny tweet? My version. My version. Thank you for giving someone girl. 30 days of ed Woo! free testing. King, thank you for giving I us a Jill. Cake. Math is if. I buy a Steam game and then I return that game. Any game I buy with that money is free. My version of girl math is if I buy a Steam game and then I return that game, any game I buy with that money is free. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. Good. The people will love that one.
So true. Is this stream actually just a farm for Sam's tweets? I do my best work. This is my workshop and this is my think tank. If something is $38 and $0 shipping, it's cheaper than something $15 and $12 shipping and simple. That's true. Yeah, that is true. Also, it's cheaper for me to buy uh, $30 worth of things than to spend $15 worth of, worth of things with a long line. If the line is too long, it gets more expensive. If the line is short and it's expensive, it's cheaper. Right? The first time ever in, in the chat, Sam took a tweet from me and I felt like I was allowed to be here. I actually do remember that very vaguely. That's just real. Your time costs money. Yeah, well, if I'm shopping, I probably am not utilizing my time too much. Too much. What are we talking about? Girl math. Yeah. Your time is expensive. I'm not standing around in a long line for $15 of shit. Yeah, that's something that's funny to me is like if I go to a store and I have like one small thing and the line is too long, I'll just return it and then I'll be like, did I need that in the first place then? If I wasn't willing to wait in line for it? And the answer is probably no. If I can count to 10 then everything I buy is free. You know what? Treat yourself. Absolutely. By the way, I tweeted this. If you didn't see this yesterday, I tweeted this uh, today, witching hour episode on wednesday with uh mr jacob alfarad 7 30 p.m so look forward to that that's very exciting i'm spending 20 dollars on food it's fine but 20 dollars for a shirt annoys me i spend like if i am trying to debate spending five dollars a month on something that i utilize all the time versus like a i don't know a 25 dollar purchase one time the 25 dollar purchase will win every time it's the monthly cost this is okay i think i don't know about you guys but if companies allow me to pay for an entire year in one go i'm more likely to pay for that service than if i have to pay monthly if i have to pay monthly i just it's it becomes out of my hands and i get stressed but if I can just pay for it all in one go, then I'll do it. Even if I'm probably not going to uh, use a year of it. Yeah. Hold on for reply to this. It's easy to lose track of monthly subscriptions. Yes. Well, it's like if I subscribe to something, I might, I might forget. And then it'll cost me more. But if I just pay for a whole year and then I don't use it, at least it's in my in my territory. I literally have a sub to a clothing store going for sixty dollars a month for five years that I've never noticed. I need to go through and one thing that I I forget to do, which is really sneaky, is I go to Apple or I go to my my a Apple account or whatever and see what I'm paying for monthly because I was paying for a lot of things for a lot longer than I was utilizing them just because I didn't realize it. I'm very tempted to get Nebula for life. They have a life subscription for like $250. Is Nebula the thing that's kind of like YouTube? I, I see a lot of YouTubers advertise their videos on Nebula and I think that the money goes straight to the creators. Like they get a lot more. I had a subscription for How to Train Your Dragon iPod game I left running for a couple years. Yeah. Did you go out, Did you go play it before you canceled it? A block of cheese equals a glass of wine. You know what I had for dinner tonight? I had Panera. I get myself Panera once a month, usually around the time that my Twitch check deposits. Our, our checks don't deposit until the 15th. I have to say, though, it is a... I have to say thank you, I guess, because I'm going to Las Vegas and the Twitch check that's dropping is the Twitch check from the Spirothon. So it's a little bit beefier than usual, especially since we were live for like three and a half days straight on the front page. So I got a lot of ad revenue. Um, it's a pretty chunky one, which is cool because I'm going to go buy myself some outfits and then I'm going to go to Vegas. So thank you guys. Also, me and I was talking to Jordan today. 
uh i went to my analytics and i was looking at like from the first to now like how much money i've made so far this month and i remember looking at it and being like yeah not bad all right that's cool and then i forgot about the 70 30 and i was like oh so i it's cool because you can kind of track as the months go along yeah get that check dude it's 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 you know it's a nice little bonus nice little bonus i had a meeting this morning that um i can't tell you guys about but let me just tell you that it is a really exciting development in my life a really big cool thing um there is a sponsor in the works for something that we've been working on for a couple months now and so you know i i met with I met with uh, a lawyer to make sure that everything was good. So that's moving forward. I'm not going to tell you guys about it until I can tell you guys about it. But um, it's cool enough that I decided to get a lawyer to make sure that I'm not fucking any shit up. Yeah. I'm also going to probably have to do like, like set up an LLC, which I know little to nothing about. But it is a smart thing to do, especially if you plan on paying anybody yep i got raid shadow legends baby let's go yep i should actually talk to parkser i should actually talk to parkser yeah um that would actually not be the worst idea he uh he knows all kinds of shit like that sponsored by chess boxing oh, no i really hope that i get in it limited liability company yeah llc baby that wasn't a joke. No, no, no. I know. I know. A hundred percent. I, uh, I think Doug told me that he said something about some sort of legal thing with Parkser and he's like, he just knows. He said Parkser knows everything about legal things so that he can break them. <laughs> he says he learns as much as he can about, uh, laws and legalities so he can legally break them. <laughs> it's true. If you know the law really well, you can legally break it because you're just smarter than it. If you're an LLC, would that protect you against Disney? No joke, maybe. Yeah, no joke, maybe. I love Parkser so much. I am very happy to tell you that Parkser is exactly this, the way he is on stream, off stream. And so is Doug. And so the dynamic, the like dynamic of Parkser and Doug and the way that they are on stream is exactly like that off stream too. Like it's exactly the same which is which is just it's hilarious um that's the first rule of racing read the rules so you know what they don't say it's you know it, i think it's a rule in anything like the the better you know the rules the more you can break them and so any kind of um any kind of i think like media is the one that comes up like especially like film or like writing poetry art like the more you know the rules then you can break them on purpose. You know? Amazing duo, genuinely, their friendship is so chaotic and wholesome. They're just the, the contrast of the way that they operate together is great. As a med law student, I can confirm. Yeah, you gotta know how to break the, uh, what do they call it? The, the medical law, the thing that protects you. The more you can take advantage of them. True. You have to learn the rules in order to break them. Yep, exactly. That is the way that it goes. HIPAA. HIPAA? HIPAA, yeah. You gotta know HIPAA so you can break it. You gotta know doctor-patient confidentiality before you can break it. You're literally listening to you talking about purposely breaking the rules. The cool thing about, about him is that he is involved and knows other streamers and like a huge amount of his clients is like content creators. And I was really worried because I was afraid that I would have to explain everything like in Fortnite terms, which wouldn't even help. And I absolutely did not at all whatsoever. There was no like he probably knows more than I do. So it was like really reassuring because I did not have to explain the intricacies of content creation at all. That's probably why we got recommended. So um, what's up, Mischief? Same looking like a stack of starburst wrappers kind of yeah honestly 
This is a very fruit candy kind of shirt. Um, if you ever want help, <laughs> let me know. Okay, cool. Perfect. I uh, I tried to call, speaking of medical stuff, I tried to call my doctor today to get an appointment to get this mole on my face checked out. And apparently they close early on Friday, which is annoying. Um, I, I kind of like, I asked around, I, I really... I'm very fortunate. I have not had to go to the doctor a whole lot in my life. I've been pretty healthy. And so, and I also for a very long time have dealt with my own shit, like appointments and all that stuff. I know that I come off irresponsible and dumb, but I truly do deal with my own shit. Like I, I, I do all my own appointments. I've been doing all my own appointments for a long time. I kind of don't hate that kind of stuff. Um, and so I was asking around about dermatologists and I don't really know how to deal with insurance because I haven't really had to deal with doctors and insurance before. So I don't really know what the protocol is. So I didn't know if I like find a dermatologist and then see if they, they take my insurance, but I guess I contact my, my PCP and then they refer me to doctors is the way that it works which I didn't, I don't want to listen to this music. It's a little much. Um, and so I was like, okay, okay. I, I just didn't know how that works. Um, yeah, doggist. That's my profession. I might have questions, actually. I might have questions. Um, so I called them and they close early on Friday, which sucks. But I have a friend who she was like i know a dermatologist they're really good they're really fucking expensive and they don't accept insurance so it's like a dermatologist that's like for rich people and you just pay out of pocket and they don't even accept insurance or anything um and so and the thing about them is because they're like this you can get in pretty quickly with them and so i called them just out of curiosity because i was like i don't really I, I, especially with this mole, all of a sudden I'm hyper fixated on it. And so I called them and they could get me in like October 30th, which is not super soon, but for LA that might be soon. So I'm going to call my main doctor. Where's the mole? It's right here on the side of my face. It's been like, it's, it's very symmetrical. It's not, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, it's not bleeding, but I just like fucked with it the other day and then it was bleeding and then it just was bleeding a lot it stopped now so we're good but um it's it's not a red flag it's uh has it grown or changed in shape over the last year it uh maybe the last year i think i think it has developed to what it is now over the last like two years It started out as it just, I just thought it was like a little zit or like a dot on my face. And then over the last like year, two years, it's gotten bigger. Um, I have a lot of moles and my moles have all changed over time. Um, Like I have a lot of them that have changed over time. So a mole popping up on my body is not unusual to me, but it's right on my face. So I've been watching it and noticing it. And uh, yeah has has literally been developing a special team mental health network in southern california and mole removed on my neck once because i got worried you might be able to have a general practitioner or general physician take it off well that's the thing now is i like i looked it up and i don't need to see a dermatologist i guess like i can just go to my general practitioner and they can at least look and see if it's a bad one and then refer me to somebody to get it taken off Um, but I've been meaning to, I went probably five years ago to a doctor and just had them look at all my moles and it was good, but that was five years ago. And so I'm trying to find somebody else to do the same thing, go in and have them look at all my moles and make sure they're all good. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to need a dermatologist. So I'm going to call them Monday and I'm like, really really hoping that they don't say like oh yeah we can get you in like december 1st because then i'm gonna have to wait until december 1st and just stress about it so i i'm just really hoping they can get me in like soonish yeah um don juan i might like i probably will ask help in the future because i 
signed up for health insurance, but like, I don't really know what I'm doing. So I kind of just signed up for health insurance. I just basically did it. I didn't really have a whole lot of strategy in it. I just did it because I, I need health insurance, but I don't really know what I'm, I definitely don't know enough about health insurance to be savvy about it. You know, like I do not know how to strategize or make sure I'm getting the most for my money at all. I just make sure that I have health insurance. Um, health insurance in this country is so broken. Well, that's good. I now have a couple people that I can ask because I, I, I ask my mom. She does a good job, but it's like, I don't, I don't know, you know? Okay. Well, I'll, uh, I'll have you guys help me. Cause I just want to make sure that I'm getting the most for the money that I'm spending. You know, I I'm doing pretty good. I don't have like a great, I think I have like, uh, I have like, I think it's gold plan. It's, I spend like a hundred bucks a month. Um, it's not breaking the bank, but like it, it does. I think it's like 120 bucks a month. Um, it's enough that like 120 bucks a month to have basically shit doctors is it's annoying that our country's like that but you know that's not that's not as expensive as some people have it jen levinson wasn't even on the gold plan i know i don't i i don't know i have to fix something though real quick hold on hold on um I meant to change this. I kept it as time someone out for two. So I was going to change the time sim out one back to time sim out, but I just kept it as this because I think it's kind of fun and you guys have been having fun with it. And I just had the description say, please check, please pick sim. Cause I don't know. I thought it was kind of fun for you guys to do that. <sighs> Sounds like a H C a plan. Don't know. Don't know anything. No, nothing. I just know that I have health insurance, which means I'm doing better than a lot of people in this industry. I can't explain to you guys uh, how I love this industry. I love the people I work with. But as as me and Barry have put it, the industry we work in is professional children. Like we all, me including, are people that just are not quite done being silly and somehow we've managed to monetize it this piece of paper is here every day by the way because if i don't it that's green because it reflects and it bugs me so if you ever wonder why this is always here that's why um yeah we're just people we're just people that had fun on the internet and somehow we managed to make money and now we're just out here balling uh on whatever we can figure out how to make so because of that uh there's a lot of there's a lot of content creators that are very silly and when they're offline, they're also very silly. And I remember having a conversation with a content creator who is a larger streamer than me, who we were talking about taxes and I was just, you know, I, I had mentioned 30%, you know, make sure you save 30% of every paycheck so that it can go to taxes. And they were like, huh, we have to, I'm going to have to pay them. What do you mean? Like they were under the impression that they were going to get a tax like they were gonna get tax money like you do when you're like an employee and i was like no dude you have to pay money at the you're an independent contractor you have to pay money at the end of the year and they just had no clue and i was like i don't know what to tell you dude it's like the end of the year all twitch streamers are rich <laughs> apparently insurance industry makes it difficult and confusing on purpose they have to they have to make it confusing on purpose i think about that anytime i go through any government anything i think that it would be so easy to make this easy to understand you don't need to use the language that you're using um i'm also gonna i i did get a recommendation from another streamer but i'm gonna hire somebody as a tax person this year Last year I did my taxes on my own, which is, I think is one of my biggest flexes because not only was I in the middle of moving to three different states, I had gotten divorced and I do this for a living, which is very complicated. And I did all of my own taxes through TurboTax and I didn't fuck anything up. 
because I think by now they would have told me. Um, but I'm not going to do that. You know what I mean? Okay, Mike, I'm waiting for it. <laughs> that is awesome. That is great. The people are going to love that, Mike. The fact you did you did not get audited is a huge win. Yeah, um, I think I just don't make enough for them to audit me. <laughs> How difficult is it to do taxes as a streamer? So it depends. That's the thing is doing taxes as a streamer. There's such a variation of you. You have a lot of different income if as a streamer. Um, you have you know the money you get from Twitch. So you get a Twitch payout every month. Um, you're considered an independent contractor. So although Twitch pays us, we are working for ourselves. We are individual, uh, self-employed contractors. So you're not, your, your boss doesn't hold the money for taxes. You have to hold the money for taxes and pay at the end of the year. So I have money coming in from Twitch. I have money coming in from PayPal because when I get PayPal donos, those are not tax free. Um, if I have sponsors, those are also income. Um, I don't make enough money on YouTube to have to deal with that shit. Um, trying to think what else I get income from. Uh, that's pretty much it for me. Patreon, I might have to deal with this year, but again, that there's kind of a threshold there where sometimes you don't have to. Um, Twitch just tastes well. That's the thing is, I think a lot of people didn't know is that the 50 50 split is not including taxes. So, when we had a 50 50 split, 50% 50 of your income comes goes to Twitch and 30% of it goes to taxes. So, you're not <laughs> making very much. Like, it's not like 50% of the money you get from Twitch you get to keep. You also have to save some for taxes. So it it dwindles down very quickly. You're getting very little of the amount of money that your audience gives you. Um, so you make like 35% of the money from Twitch. I think that's how it works out. Yeah. Streamers really shouldn't think of that initial amount as income. No, that's that is like the one thing that I think is really important for streamers to really internalize is do all of the math and figure out how much you're making before you realize how much you're making. I see a lot of streamers try to go full time before they're ready because they don't understand. Uh, going to be 50, 50 until the hundred K mark. Uh, I have 70, 30 now because of partner plus, which yeah. Woo. Um, until I make a hundred thousand dollars a year, which <laughs> That would be really great. That would be so great and cool. But I don't think that we're near that. <laughs> um, but yeah, you get 70-30 split. And then after you make $100,000 a year, then all of the money after that is 50-50, I think. There, instead of overestimating and being fucked. Yeah, I try to keep 33%. Um, okay, go away. Go lay down. Go lay down. That was weird. Oki was laying over by the router and she was scratching. You know what I did earlier? That I wanted to pretend. Um. Hold on, I'll be right back. One second. Okay, I have, I have deduced the problem. No, hey, get up, wait, no, go lay down. I have deduced the problem, I think. I think the router is becoming ungrounded. Um, is the, is it better now? It's back now. Everybody type one in chat.
Is it bad? Right? No way. Okay, try refreshing real quick. I think I'm going to end in the...